an acknowledgement of lands and sea. My name is Reverend Diane Rollard, and it's my honor to serve the Unitarian Church of Montreal. My name is Reverend Ted Galliardo, and I serve as the President and Executive Minister of the U Church of the Philippines. It's still morning here in Quebec as I acknowledge the land where our brick-and-mortar sanctuary stands on the island of Jojage that has been the home for generations of the Ganyankahaga, the keepers of the Eastern Door, the people the French called the Iroquois, and the English called the Mohawk. This land surrounded by the mighty St. Lawrence, this city that surrounds an ancient and sacred mountain, is unceded territory, where the people of many tribes came to meet and trade ideas and goods long before the first Western European settlers arrived and claimed this land wrongly as their own property. It is evening in the Philippines, a country of 7,641 islands within the Pacific Ring of Fire, a place where the Spanish ruled as a colonial power for 400 years. Before this, the Arabs, Indians, Chinese, Persian, and Malay traders exchanged freely in culture and commerce with more than 100 indigenous nations within its territories. This is land where the Japanese came to conquer during the Second World War where the U.S. dominated for 50 years and indiscriminately bombed the capital of Manila during the war and rained down as much destruction as the bombings in Warsaw, where the U.S. sends more armed forces than in Afghanistan. This is a place where Polynesian blood has mingled, flowing from as far west as Madagascar, Africa, to as far east as the Americas where 150 languages are spoken and ancient cultures persist, to whom the ocean is not a barrier but a medium. Out of the sea rise the skyscrapers of Manila, from the countrysides and beaches, rice terraces and fields of sugar cane, forests of mangroves and mangoes. From Montreal and the province of Quebec in the Confederation of Canada, from Dumaguete, the capital of the island of Negros, in the region of the Visayas, in the country of the Philippines. We are called to name and respect the land and its brave original peoples. That continue to persist to this day in the places we now call home.